So adding a well done intro to your YouTube videos can go a long way to increasing your subscribers, increasing your views, and increasing the overall quality of your videos. However, most YouTubers that add intros to their videos usually end up with something like this. Sharp drop offs in viewers when their intro hits. Now, obviously this is not good. It costs us viewers, it hurts us in the YouTube algorithm, so we want to avoid it at all costs. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the different ways that you can create a custom YouTube intro for your videos. And most importantly, I'm gonna give you some very important tips so that you don't end up killing your video analytics in the process. Now, some of these methods for creating intros for your YouTube videos cost money, but other methods that I'm gonna show you in this video will actually give you a very high quality intro for free, just like this one. Hey everybody, it is Todd from digitaltrailblazer.com and we have got a lot of stuff to cover today because quite frankly, there are a lot of ways to create a custom intro for your YouTube videos. And depending on your level of do it yourselfness and how much money you wanna spend, there's just a bunch of different ways that you can go. So what I'm gonna do here is I will start with the easiest methods first to give you a custom intro for your YouTube videos. And then after that, I will show you some ways that will give you a more unique and more customized intro that will actually require a little bit more DIY skills than the easy methods. Then after that, I'll show you how you can actually create a custom intro for free, which it's gonna require a little bit of work on your part, but if you're willing to do a little bit of work, it's really not that hard to do. Then at the very end of this video, I'm gonna give you all the tips that you need to know so that your intro is actually helping your videos rather than hurting them. So let's go ahead, jump into my computer here and get this started. Okay, so let's start with the easiest method first. And this is just going to be going to a website that will create a video intro for you. And the great part about these is that, you know, they're pretty low cost, usually somewhere between 10 and $20 to get an intro done. It doesn't require any software and basically all you need to do is upload a custom logo if you have it or just type in some text for whatever you want to be in your intro. So some good quality websites that you can get this done and I will link to these in the description of our video but uh, Placeit is one right here. Another one is Video Bolt. And then another one is Render Forest. And there's obviously a bunch of other services that'll do this for you. Just do a Google search for custom YouTube intros and that will help you to find a bunch more of these if you like. But these ones here will give you a pretty high quality result without really breaking the bank. So these all pretty much work the same, but they do have different templates on each of these different services. So you're gonna wanna look at them all and find one that you really like. Now you can mock these up first before you actually pay. So that is the, the good part about this. And in most cases, they will actually uh, let you download a sample of your intro before you actually pay for it. So that's another plus to these types of services. So the one I'm gonna demo for you right here is Video Bolt. And so if I just scroll down a little bit, you'll see all of the different types of templates that they do. And a lot of these will do more than just intros. They'll do lower thirds, they'll do uh, you know titles and different things like that. But if I'm just looking for an intro, Right here at the very bottom is where I can see the intros. And if I click see more, that will take me to all of their different intro templates. And once you see something that you like, all you gotta do is just click on it. It'll give you some more information on exactly what it is and how you can customize it. For example, this one comes in three or four different colors. And then it'll show me the replaceable assets. This is basically the stuff that I need to provide in order to create a custom intro. So I will need an image, you know, a logo, and then I will also need to provide some text, which is typically gonna be your website or your name or your username or something like that, right? So if I want to go ahead and start mocking this up, I can click right here where it says Edit Fireborn. And so in the middle of our screen here is where we actually see the playback of our mockup. And right now it's just the generic version of this. So if I wanna customize this over here on the left-hand side, I can see all the different parts that I'm gonna to have to go through in order to customize this. So. First thing is the text and media. So I need to upload a logo and then I need to add a some sort of a text, right? A tagline, a website, a name, whatever I want in the intro. So I'll upload a logo. All right, now it's gonna render that for me so I can kind of get a little bit of a preview. And then the next thing I wanna do is add a tagline right here. I'll say enter text and I'm just gonna put in our website, digitaltrailblazer.com and save. Okay, once I've added those in there, I'm gonna go to this next step, themes. And so here's where I could change the color of the intro if I want. So I can do orange, I can do green, red, 
I might just do this one right here. I'll go ahead and click apply. I'm going to get a different color on that. Okay, going on to our next step right over here, customize. If I click on these different things, it'll let me choose the color. So for example, like right now, I've got this white gray color. If I want to change that, I can actually customize this to a different color altogether. For example, if I wanted yellow, which was not one of my options, I can go ahead and change that right there. And it's going to render a new preview for me in that color. See? Now, if I ever do something that I don't like, I always have this undo button up here. And there we go. I can get back to that color that I originally had. Background, I can change the background color here. Right now, it's kind of like this dark, almost black. So if I wanted to change this to more of a bluish color. Oh, look at that. I actually like that. I think I'm going to stick with that. Down here, logo and tagline. This is where I can choose the colors of the logo and the tagline. So if you want to change these, you can, but I'm just going to leave these alone for right now and see how it goes. Okay, so at this point, I think I actually want to render the video and see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to click on produce video. And it's going to ask me to create an account before I go any further. I don't really have to make a payment right now, but I do have to create an account. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so it's going to tell me right here, you are about to produce a free watermarked preview. Okay, which is exactly what I want to do. That's fine. I'm just going to give my video a name and then click produce. So this is obviously going to take some time to render. So if you want to grab a snack, get something to drink, this would be a good time to do it. Bam. All right. Looks like we're done. Let's go ahead and watch this and see what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So for a cost of 10 to $20, this is a pretty easy way to get your custom intro done for your YouTube videos. Now, another way that you can do this that's also pretty easy that will give you a pretty good custom result is to go to fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and hire somebody to do this for you. Prices for this start at $5. Typically, you're gonna pay 10 to 15 for a decent job, but all you wanna do right here is just type in video, intro and what we will come up with is just hundreds of results for people that will come up with a pretty good custom intro for you for your youtube videos so it's just a matter of going through these and they'll typically if you click on these they will give you a bunch of examples of their work of things that you can have done so for example if i just play this So prices for this gig start at $20 and go up to $55 for the most expensive. For the most part, it looks like $35 is going to give you everything that you want. But if you want like a truly custom intro, uh, this looks like a pretty good gig. Other gigs here on Fiverr typically are going to be people that just have access to a bunch of templates. And a lot of these use the same templates. So they're not really going to be the most unique stuff. You're going to run into a lot of the stuff that uh, you would with something like Placeit or Video Bolt or Render Forest. It's that you're working off of a template, right? And so there's a lot of other people that might be using the same templates. So if you really want something that's truly custom, you're going to probably pay a premium price for that. For something that's just like five or maybe even ten dollars, like I can tell already, this is a template that they just grabbed off of a generic website. There's a lot of other people using the exact same templates to create intros for other people. So if you don't mind that, right, this is actually a pretty good way to get a custom intro done for pretty cheap, right? It's pretty inexpensive to get something like this done and somebody does it all for you. And if you look at enough of these, what you're going to find, kind of like I mentioned before, is that a lot of people are using the exact same templates, right? They're, they're creating intros with the exact same templates. So for example, this one right here for $10. I can tell that this is the exact same template that they're using for $5. Okay, so between the two, probably want to go with this one because it costs half the price. So those two methods are going to be the easiest way for you to create a video intro. It's going to cost, you know, anywhere from $5 on the very low end to $35 on the higher end for a good custom intro, but you will come up with a pretty good result. Now, another way that you can do this is to actually just buy the templates yourself so that you have unlimited access to this and then use a free trial of Adobe After Effects to render this on your own computer. So this will give you a pretty good custom result. There's going to be a lot more templates open up to you, but it does require a higher end PC in order to run Adobe After Effects. And it also requires 
require some technical skill in order to be able to use After Effects. This is definitely not for everybody, but it does give you the most options as far as templates that you can choose from. The cost is still pretty low, maybe $15 on the lower end, $35 on the very high end, and it produces a much more customized result for you. So my favorite place to get custom video intro templates for After Effects is videohive.net. And if we just go to After Effects right here, we can go to Logo Stings. This is what we want. And there are literally thousands of options here. Now, the thing that I like about Video Hive is that it categorizes all of their assets in different types of categories. So if I want an abstract logo sting, if I want more of a corporate feel, if I want a glitch or a grunge type of look, I can do that. So it really helps me to narrow down the templates to exactly what I'm looking for. For example, if I want retro, I can click right here. And for example, let's look at this one. That is definitely retro. So that one costs $18. So the thing that you need to keep in mind with these is that there's a cost for the template, but also in a lot of cases you have to pay extra for the audio. Okay, if they use music or if they use sound effects, a lot of times you may have to pay more money to get the license to use that stuff. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. So for example, this one's gonna be an extra $9 to get the music and the sound effects for this intro. So we're looking at a total cost of about $27 here. Now, like I said, in order to be able to edit these templates, you will need to download a software program called Adobe After Effects. So if you've never signed up for this before, you can actually get a free 30-day trial and it's a full version of the software. There's no restrictions on it. So if you've got everything else ready to go, I would say just go ahead and sign up for the free trial. And then if you don't wanna to have to pay for it long-term, just cancel it before the 30 days is up and it'll save you some money. But where you wanna go is creativity and design. And then we're gonna to go to view all products. And the one that we're looking for here is After Effects. And just click start free trial. It'll let you download and install the software. If you want a link for this for the free trial, I will put that in the description of this video. Now, I'm not gonna go into a full After Effects tutorial here because if I did that in this video, it would make this just really long. So if you do want an After Effects tutorial, just do a search in YouTube for After Effects tutorial and you'll find what you're looking for. And now, how can you do this for 100% free? This is gonna be kind of a hybrid method. We're still gonna need After Effects. We're still gonna sign up for that 30-day trial, but instead of paying for our After Effects template, we're gonna find it for free. And there's a few places that we can do that. One is here, Rocketstock, okay, rocketstock.com. And they've got a bunch of different assets that you can download for free. They have overlays, they have lower thirds, they have you know titles and things like that. So again, I'm gonna put the link for the free templates on Rocketstock in the description of this video. So you basically wanna search through this and find the intro that, uh, that you want. And so for example, right here, here's an intro that we could use. And you're gonna get a preview right here. Okay, so you can customize the colors and you can customize some other things. So if you want to download this, all you gotta do is click download right here. You will have to give them your name and your email and sign up for their email list in order to get this. But if you wanna unsubscribe right away, you can do that. Go ahead and click download and it'll actually download right into your computer. Open that up in After Effects. You're on a 30 day trial, so you got 30 days to figure it out to learn how to, uh, to render this in After Effects. And once you're done, uh, you've got a free intro. Now some other websites that you can go to to get free After Effects templates. One is Motion Array, and this actually has a lot more options for you. Again, link for this is down in the description below. And you can see they've got a pretty good variety of stuff here that you can use. And obviously there's other websites that you can get free After Effects templates as well. Just do a Google search for that and you're gonna come up with a bunch of different options. But these are two of my favorite ones, Rocketstock, and motion array. Now, warning, there are some very important things you need to know before you actually create your intro. Now, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, when you create an intro for your YouTube videos, you want it to actually improve the analytics on your videos. You want it to increase watch time, you want it to increase your subscriber rate, you want to increase your views. And a lot of people, when they put intros in their videos, they experience the exact opposite. They have less watch time, they have fewer views, they get penalized in the YouTube algorithm. And there's one big reason for this. And if you can avoid this, it's gonna make your videos much, much better. Now, before I get to that, if you like this video, if you've gotten value from it, and if you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel so you get notified every single time we come up with a new video just like this here on YouTube.
So the number one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're creating an intro for your YouTube videos is to keep it short. The biggest mistake that people make when they create their intros is that they make it like 30 seconds long and they make it this big epic production. And although it looks really flashy and cool and it's totally awesome, what it does is it completely tanks your analytics because the longer your intro is, the longer people have to wait to get to the part of the video that they actually want. And the longer it takes them to get to what they want, the more likely it is that they're going to just jump off the video and find a different video that actually gives them what they want. So that's why you will see in your analytics that while your intro is going, people are just dropping off the video. So a good rule of thumb is that you want to keep your intro to five to seven seconds tops. Okay, five to seven seconds tops. And if you can keep it to that length of time, what we have found is that it will eliminate any loss of viewers that you might experience. And it will also improve the quality of your videos that will help you to get more viewers and more subscribers on your channel. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to create great videos for your YouTube channel that will help you to grow much faster, you wanna watch this video next, upper right corner of your screen or top link in the description. Take care, bye.